Willie D. Live. When is the next community healing session? When? Um, so we just coming off our second uh, Sundays with Source. And that's one of the events I started in Jersey. When I was even getting a download to start teaching, I didn't want to teach. I was starting to figure out how to heal myself and have a connection with God. And I kept getting that same download you got to go into uh, the council search. I was getting that download to start to teach. I didn't feel like I know enough. Um, imposter syndrome is a big word people throw around. I felt a lot of that. Um, but I realized there's something in yoga we call the golden chain. So each of us is handing down information. It's not a matter of hierarchy. You just may, may be further in the journey than me in some way, shape, or form. And you got some wisdom to hand back to me. I take that wisdom, I incorporate it. It's going to be somebody behind me that may not have that 5% you gave me. They need my 5% to go to 2%. So everybody is on some timeline of doing that. And when I finally honored the call, I remember um, still being on, being on disability, didn't really have money to pay my bills, but Spirit was telling me to do these free classes. And I did my first one, one person showed up. I never not mention her name, Ashanti King. She showed up, and by the end of that summer, I had 60, 70 people showing up every week. That really became the foundation and springboarded me into my platform becoming what it has. So us bringing it down here, it's like a microcosm of the fact that you're not going to be able to see, like you said, what God has coming through the horizon. You just got to be open to it. So we brought Sundays with Source down here. We just did our second one on Sunday, and it's every second and fourth Sunday, of course, yeah. when we in town, because we do retreats around the world. But every second and fourth Sunday at Memorial Park. So the next one mm -hmm. will be June, June 25th. 25th. Yeah, okay. yep. Pain is one of the greatest teachers. Mm. Explain that. Mm. So typically when a person is happy, they're at peace, they just, you know, living their life, having a good time, they're not calling nobody asking for help. They're not calling asking for advice. When life puts them on their behind and they start feeling pain, that's when they start seeking answers to make themselves feel better. They become an instant student. Mm. And they don't even recognize it. So when you just said the the analogy of, I just messed up, how can you help me? It's only when someone experiences, or most of the time, it's when they experience so much pain that they are kind of forced to start to look for avenues to make themselves feel better. This is how you gain spiritual stamina. Mm -hmm. When pain is present, this is where you start to allow yourself to become comfortable in the stress test that is life. It is how you build your spiritual stamina, how you become your warrior spirit, and this is where you learn who you are. How are you when you don't have access to control, when control is not an option? Who do you become when you don't have the control to make yourself feel better right then and there? You have to become a student and learn how to surrender. The average person doesn't know how to do that. They attempt to force everything into submission, have expectations to outcomes. So when you allow pain, whether it's a relationship, whether it's somebody dying, whether it's you losing a job, whether it's you being on your last dime, if you allow these situations and the uncomfortableness of these situations to be your teacher they will guide you to the next step and typically that is what helps people evolve they mm -hmm. love to speak about spiritual awakenings well typically that happens when you have some sort of heavy emotional situation and a lot of people that tends to be like divorce um, a relationship mm -hmm. ending or being in a really unhealthy situation that pain becomes a teacher because they start to look for ways to feel better mm -hmm.